Brian Pay here. This video is going to cover the lie, how the lie affects the golf shot. This is going to be the case for short shots and full swing as well. So I got four golf balls laid out here. One is sitting on the fairway. One is sitting on top of the rough. The next one is a little bit down. And the last one is all the way down. You'll notice how much grass is behind the golf ball. So as we're looking at our lie, we want to assess Here's me on a fairway lie. How much grass is going to be interfered with between the golf ball and the club strike? The cleaner the contact, the better the grooves in the premium golf ball. That's going to create the most spin and the fastest ball speed. If I was going to hit this golf ball off the turf and make a small motion, that golf ball just flew 15 yards. Now if I back up a little bit, look at the next golf ball in line, how does this golf ball differ to the one that was on the fairway? The only difference is it's sitting on top of the grass, so my golf club needs to come through a little bit higher to clip the tee if there was a tee underneath there or brush the turf and get this leading edge underneath that golf ball so the club can do work. So with less grass in between the face and the ball, I'm going to predict that this ball is going to come out the same speed as the last golf ball. If I was going to try to land at the same distance as the last one, I'm going to make the same length stroke, the same rotation speed to get it to carry the same distance. So I'm going to find the top of the grass, make my motion, and that golf ball came out about the same distance. I look on my club, there's actually a little bit of grass, so I had a little bit of interference. Not much, but a little, that little inf interference took away some spin, and that golf ball launched a little bit higher than the one that did off the fairway. If we move to the next one, this golf ball is sitting down just a hair. So this golf ball is going to have more grass between the club head and the golf ball, so this is going to come out just a little bit slower with less spin, and I'm going to predict that it's going to come out just slightly higher because the spin is gone. The spin also helps keep the golf ball down as we're chipping off the tight lies. So the next golf ball, i got to figure out where's the bottom of the ball. So I'm getting my sense of how much I need to be bent over and where the club needs to come through in order to get this leading edge underneath the golf ball. So you can see there, I actually landed it just a little bit too far back. There's too much interference, and that golf ball now came out shorter. So as I start getting the golf ball that's more and more grass between the club face and the ball, I'm going to need a bigger stroke in order to get it to go the same distance if I want that to be my carry. Then I got to factor in the height's going to be slightly higher because friction is reduced. And also the spin is going to be reduced so that golf ball as it lands is going to release more. So the last golf ball here, this has the most grass behind the golf ball. It's going to have the most interference between the ball and the club face. As the golf ball sits more and more down, this is the one scenario I would move the golf ball slightly more backwards in the stance. I might open my face just a tiny bit to give me a little bit more loft because as that grass starts to grab the club, it's going to want to close the club face down. As I'm making my practice swings, it's going to need a bigger motion to get it to go the same distance as the last couple carried. As I move my golf ball back slightly just in the stance, my grip's going to remain neutral. That's going to give me a little bit more shaft lean. It's going to expose the digging edge as opposed to the sliding edge. Also in doing that, it's going to give me a steeper take away an approach into a golf ball as opposed to one that's going to be sweeping. That way it can reduce some of the interference and the grass between the ball and the club face. So let's hit this guy. Club slightly open, golf ball a little bit back in the stance, longer backswing to get it to come out the same distance. That one flew the same, but it released the most. As I look at my golf club, there's more grass on the face, but having the golf ball slightly back, that let me have less interference than it normally would have if 
if I was going to play a standard shot, I feel like I was going to sweep the grass. Also, as I move the golf ball back, handle slightly more forward, that reduces the loft. That's a little reason why I open the club face as well. So here's four different lies. How are they going to affect the golf ball? What's the interference going to be between ball and club strike? How's that going to affect the ball speed and the spin as well as the launch angle? So when you're hitting a chip or a full swing, why is very important how solid a strike can you get to get your maximum distance or what you're used to? The more interference you have, think of it like a pillow. It's going to absorb some of the speed and that golf ball is going to come out with less spin and not carry as far.